Welcome to Brent's Anime Recommendation Corner, where today, I you, you probably guessed it, um, I'm going to recommend Gunbuster, one of the pivotal uh, uh, OVAs of the 1980s, and one of the first major works by Studio Gainax, who'd go on to make Evangelion and lots of other notable things. And what I love about Gunbuster, uh, one of the things, is that it kind of trolls you when it first starts out, um, because it seems for all intents and purposes to be a this sort of shoujo series set um, in this science fiction time. There's a, aliens and war and so forth. But it's basically the, the story of these uh, schoolgirls in the middle of this, uh, this intense training. Uh, but there are also giant robots everywhere. Um, and the reason for that is that this is basically a parody of a famous tennis anime, at least for this first uh, episode. And so you, you're really lulled into thinking that you're going to get this, uh, this sort of very shoujo thing, and then suddenly it starts getting a little more serious. Um, and then, one of, again, one of the things I do love about it is that um, as the story progresses, um, it actually starts becoming much, much more than that. And I'm not going to get into any spoilers, but Gunbuster is made by a bunch of folks who are, for lack of a better term, really deep fans of anime and science fiction. What I mean by that is these are folks who appreciate what science fiction tries to do on a deep level, what anime tries to do on a deep level. So they're trying to tell a more deep, sophisticated stories. They're trying to get into the psychology of the characters. They're trying to do interesting stuff with the science fiction, not use it as an excuse for just lasers and battleships. And they have fun with lasers and battleships. But ultimately, it is um, uh, about much more than that. It, it, it's, it's a lot more serious than that. And so Gunbuster gets to be um, what appears to be this very, you know, light, fluffy, you know, goofy thing, but also surprisingly, um, uh, surprisingly deep and surprisingly, um, I won't quite say complicated, but surprisingly interesting. There's a lot going on in Gunbuster and the characters go on trajectories that you would not expect. Um, Gunbuster is a lot of fun. And it, it, it managed to do that, that great thing that, that great anime often uh, does, which is it combines drama and comedy and um, melodrama and character development and all these things all balanced with each, with each other really, really, uh, in a really pleasing way. It obviously, it's not going to be for everyone, but Gunbuster, uh, uh, for me, is one of those things that I just sit down and I just enjoy. I will point out that it does veer into multiple different directions. Part of the reason is that they are trying to sort of play around with multiple different tropes. And so sometimes it's, again, sort of a school comedy. Sometimes it's much more of a drama. Uh, but for me, it works really, really well. Do be aware that, um, and I don't, think it's, I don't think it's a spoiler to say, that uh, the ending gets a little experimental in terms of animation and such. Um, so it will look and feel quite different at the end. I found that to be very visually interesting. Once you know it happen, it's, it's happening, I don't think it's disappointing. I just realize it's going to look very different than what you're uh, used to from the, uh, the early episodes. And uh, Gunbuster's just a, you know, it's just a, it's a really fun ride.